mayors from across the country have joined forces to push for stricter gun laws. Among them is Irvington Mayor Wayne Smith. He joins me now to discuss this issue. Mayor, great to have you here. I'm delighted to be here, Desiree. First, tell me about the mission of this organization. It includes about 900 mayors, is 900 that correct? 900 mayors, 45 states, uh, 1.4 million grassroots supporters around the country, and led by Mayor Bloomberg of New York. And we've been on the ground trying to affect federal legislation. Today, we were working on Senate Bill 649, which requires any purchaser of a, uh, a weapon have a background check, and that could be criminal, and maybe even mental health. So we were on we were on the phones today, lobbying our congressional representatives in all those 45 states. Uh, about 40 uh, congressional districts and, tw and 20 states, we have a clear majority from some recent polling the, the mayors have done. And so we think we're on the right side of the issue in, in, in this regard. We have to do something in this seminal moment to lessen people's availability to, to, to weapons that could be used for a crime. We're not trying to infringe on the Second Amendment, but we do want to do something about banning assault weapons and also reducing high-capacity magazines on certain uh, guns. Now, speaking of assault weapons, um, the president is still pushing for a ban, uh, Vice President uh, Joe Biden, but uh, it's not clear there's support uh, among federal lawmakers. Well, you know, we, we're, we're, we're pushing. We have a broad base, 45 states where we touch people. We got 900 mayors on the ground doing this cold grassroots piece. So we think we're going we're gonna to move the dime. We're going to keep the pressure on. We, were on. we had people from all over the country calling Capitol Hill today. So, we're, we, you know, a lot of times there's no support for something. It's just like the recent immigration bill, and then all of a sudden you got something moving. And so we're going to keep the pressure on. Well, I understand your group has a, a national campaign ad running, but also the NRA uh, just today is announcing it's, uh, it wants to recommend um, that an armed guard, that someone be trained, at least one school official, uh, to be well, trained the, the, to, to the hold a firearm. The, yeah. the better thing, if you were going to do anything around school, was being the, the cops in schools program back mm -hmm. that made schools safer. It was actually a Bush initiative. And so if there was some, if there was some political will, maybe we could bring something like that back. Because trained law enforcement officers would be in school. That would be the safer for everybody. But we'll see what this entails. 74% of NRA members think we're right about this stuff. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to see about that one. Uh, another question, let's talk about illegal weapons. Is that the real concern in, in most communities? Or it, at least some urban communities yeah, that have yeah, a high crime rate? Yeah, yeah we, 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 you, you have a couple of things going. You, a lot of, uh, the, the background checks are critically important so that the guns don't fall in the wrong hands. So you have, we don't want to infringe on people's right to do hunting and to own a weapon. But we do want to make sure that weapons don't fall in the wrong hands. So we're doing everything on the local level to do everything to keep illegal guns from surfacing. And, and the federal government has a duty this year. State government has a duty this year. And but, are gun buybacks a part of this or and, not? They're, and, they're and taking very have, few in off, New Jersey, right? No, but, yeah. but they do. And, and, I, and I will tell you, one of the things about gun buybacks, if you have a gun in the house and there's a domestic dispute, a lot of fatalities happen in that kind of an instant. So we can get those guns out of people's hands that somebody bought many years ago mm -hmm. and they, they know it's in the house, or when an argument happens among friends and there's a gun available. Mm -hmm. So those kinds of things do help, you know, so. I want Absolutely. to get to another point very quickly before we wrap up, and that is, uh, are, in your community, have you seen a reduction in gun violence? If so, why? Is this oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, and I have to tell you, it's, it's, it's been aggressive police leadership and ag aggressive police strategy. We just hired additional 19 cops that are going into the academy. So we see it as a, we, we see our reduction based on our enhanced policing and doing some good things. So our, our violent crime is significantly down in the city, and over the last three years, it's been a trend that continues, and so we hope that that's going to continue. Okay, so a model for other communities to follow? Absolutely. Technology yep. helps, everything helps? Yep. Yep. We have to come back and talk about it. Okay. okay. Mayor Smith, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you.